Hello, my name is Russ, and I'd like to welcome you to the manufacturing facility of American Machine Company located here in Allen, Nebraska. Today we have for you, ladies and gentlemen, this is a flow-through nailer. It's a component machine. You're going to be making uh, trimmers, uh, corners, L's, partition lead-ins, headers, things of that nature. Uh, we can actually, we can run a uh, whole range here. I'll go through some of the specifications, some of the things that will be advantage to you, the customer, uh, some of the features and benefits of this machine, and I'll just kind of walk through this as we go. This is a real quick demonstration. Uh, flow through nailer, we make a couple different versions. We've also got a CN4. Uh, it's a little smaller footprint. Uh, this is more set up. You've got uh, 10 feet of in feet conveyor. You've also got 10 feet of out feet conveyor. It's all sitting on uh, uh, rollers, uh, bearing, bearing assist rollers, one nice even height. You've got uh, humane control on the left side, so we can either make this a left hand or make it a right hand. Right hand would mean we take the control box and put it on this side, depending on your guy or your gal or whoever's going to run that, this machine for you. Uh, there's a tray on the, uh, the left hand side of the screen for you and this is to put your, your nails and stuff guys. Just put a whole, whole box or two boxes on there. Likewise, there's also one on the right hand side of the screen where you can throw some nails and staples and things of that nature, whatever you want up in that area. Uh, for the most part, the machine's actually going to come. Uh, there's leveling feet that actually come in place here and there's anchor bolts, so there's four anchor bolts for this, and there's actually four anchor bolts for your conveyor. There's two legs on the left-hand side of the screen and two on the right-hand side. We, we highly suggest that you actually uh, uh, anchor this, put it in some place in your shop. Uh, that way it stays nice and true each and every time. There's a foot pedal valve down here on the left-hand side. Uh, we do that for the customer, number one, so it's real easy. We're actually going to come in real fast, real quick. We've got a uh, main cylinder that comes down. It's going to push against, uh, say, like a 2x6 or a 2x4. For example, if you're going to do a, uh, a trimmer, I'll try and stay out of the shot best I can. So I'm actually going to come in, maybe get this, maybe it can, cannot. But we're actually going to push down on both, both pieces or components, if you were to say, on a trimmer. Uh, likewise, if you're doing an L, a partition lead, and things of that nature. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out of the way real fast. Uh, outside your view is actually a, there's an orange stop over here that actually pops up. Uh, this orange stop, I know you won't be able to see it, but uh, there's a push button on the control panel over here. Uh, it's, let, me, uh, let me jump ship here real fast. Green is up and then you hit yellow. It actually takes a stop and lowers it down past the working surface so material slides right through. Once again, green for up, yellow for down. Uh, on the flow through component nailer, these are your main controls. You can actually uh, you can take the top gun, you want to turn one tool on, you want to turn one tool off. Likewise on the bottom, uh, you can select all this however you wish to do that, depending on what your needs are at the time. Now you're going to say, all right, <clears throat> if I'm going to do a header, I've got a, a big component, I'm doing something, how do I lower and raise all this? Well, uh, for you, the customer, it's actually pretty simple. You've got a crank handle right here to uh, adjust the height to where you want your nail pattern to be. Okay? Real simple, real easy. So the top gun is the uh, knob closest to you. That's the same on this side, as well as the opposite side. And then, of course, here's the crank handle for the bottom tool. Roll fairly smooth. Uh, the nail guns themselves, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter to us which brand of uh, nail gun you want to use. We recommend you, whoever gives you the best service, use that company, OK? Flat out. Uh, if you pick somebody that you don't have good service, you're going to be upset and it's, you know, the relationship's going to be uh, questionable at best. Anyway, you send us the guns, we'll go ahead and mount it. Once again, we don't care whose it is, we'll go ahead and mount anybody's tool. We're actually pulling a trigger here. Might be hard to see, but we actually come in and we have a cylinder that actually comes in and pulls the trigger on each one of the, uh, the four nail guns. Two on this side, two on the uh, opposite side away from me. Now we can go down to uh, about four inches in the minimum closing, and we've got a range up to about 12 inches. Uh, we can also open up uh, quite a distance here. There's a handwheel casting on the back side you can't see, but uh, actually allows this carriage, which is on the back side, to actually shift out. So it'll shift away uh, to the left hand side to the rear uh, portion of the camera here. Uh, you can adjust that manually if you're doing a whole bunch of different jobs. Uh, you can see it, it can accommodate quite a bit just from the action that we're doing so far. You've got a cylinder stroking on uh, this side and one on the back side, so we're coming in each time. Works pretty slick, real smooth. Once again, you've got down clamps coming from the top. Uh, we're running about 100 PSI, and there's around 300 pounds of uh, pressure coming down on the main cylinders, uh, coming down clamping your material. So try and use good material, some of your cold material. 
It's a good chance to use it up, make good usable components that you can sell or put into your walls. Whether you make components for uh, your competitors or for yourselves, uh, great little tool. This is a flow through nailer. It's a triad machine, uh, heavy duty construction. You've got uh, one main air going in, in the machine on this end. You've got an FLR regulator mount with a gauge on here. Uh, Ideally, you want to go ahead and plumb this direct with a three-quarter inch airline. Once again, three-quarter inch airline or larger, guys, guys and gals. Uh, <clears throat> it's all set up that you can actually go in with that size on the regulator itself. Real simple, real easy machine, uh, wide range, great versatility. So it's a flow-through style. So that means we can actually go in here, clamp, hit it, pull the board through keep firing each and every time and just keep pushing it as fast as you want to push it. It's real simple, real easy. In this case, we'd have the material, we'd, we'd be going this way because the stop's set up on the right-hand side of the view. And away we go. If you got any questions, call the factory at 1-800-568-7423. Once again, my name is Russ, and I'd like to thank you for your time.